Previously, we assembled our collaborative robot with e-robotry actuators. Now, we will explore how the Kiba CP505 slash controller directs its movements along linear paths. Join us as we unveil the capability of our e-robotry actuator modules. Step 1. Prepare the experiment platform. The hardware used in the experiment are shown above. The hardware wearing should conform to the illustrated schematic diagram. This experiment uses the KeyStudio LX software provided by Kiba. Please follow the following instructions to install it correctly. Install the code meter runtime software from Kiva. Locate and open the engineering environment camera X or V2 folder. Open the third party folder. Open the code meter runtime folder. Run the code meter runtime installation wizard. Proceed by clicking next. Accept the terms and conditions, then click next to continue. Choose your preferred installation location and click next. Keep the default installation method selected and click next to proceed. Clicking install to initiate the installation process and wait for it to finish. Upon completion, click finish. Install the KeyStudio LX software from Kiva. Locate and open the engineering environment camera spouse 2 folder. Open the tools folder. Open the KeyStudio LX folder. Double click on setup exe to run the installer. Click next. Agree to the terms and conditions and click next. Choose the installation path and click next. If needed, create shortcuts on the desktop. Start menu folder, or click launch bar, and click next. Click install to initiate the installation process. Wait for the installation to finish and click finish to complete the installation. Install the device description files and library files provided by Kiva into the KeyStudio software. Navigate to and open the KeyStudio software. Click on tools, choose device repository. Select install within the pop-up window. Navigate to the folder containing the device description files for the eRob module. Click on open to install the files. Click on Tools to access the Tools menu. Select Library Repository from the options available. Click on Install to begin the installation process. Navigate to the folder containing the library files for the eRob module. Click on Open to select and install the files. Wait for the installation to complete. Step 2 Create and configure KeyStudio project. To create a KeyStudio project, in KeyStudio software, go to the top left menu bar and click on File. Select New Project. In the pop up window, choose General and Project Wizard. Name the project 0 Air 10 kg Co Robot Control. Click OK to confirm and create the project. Select application type as robotic, then click Next. Choose Kiva Controller Model CP505 A with task cycle time default configuration of 8 millisecond and click Next. For application type, select path related process, and for robot type, choose articulated arm with three wrist joints. Click the Add button to add a robot arm, then click Next. Choose drive type as 0 Air Driver, then click Add to add 6 axis and click Next. For the human machine interface model, select use active panels for key top key 70 rkaalk and use passive panels for 070XAOF. Click next, then finish to complete the project creation. Call the KDrive 0 air library in the library manager. In the project window, double click to open the library manager. In the popped up window, click add library. Search for and select the KDrive 0 air folder, then click OK to complete the addition. Create a new task in task configuration. Right-click on Task Configuration in the Project window. Click Add Object and choose Task. It will be named Task Add Default, then click Add. Set the priority to 0, the time interval to 4. Click Add Call, select PRG0 Air Custom Drive Info, and click OK. In Application, add a variable list. Right-click on Application in the Project window. Select Add Object, and click Persistent Variables. In the newly popped up window, click Add. Click the Compile button and wait for compilation to complete. Right-click in the pop-up window and click Add All Instance Paths. Input the ticket code in the robot pre-update file as follows. Locate and open the robot pre-update file in the project window. Add the ticket code provided by Kiva according to the controller serial number at the last line of the input box. Step 3. Configure ARM parameters. Configure the ARM axis parameters based on the eROP parameters. Select the joint axis of the ARM. Fill in each parameter according to the robot axis 1 to axis 6 parameter table. Configure the robot DH parameters based on the actual mechanical dimensions of the arm. Open the art arm interface. Select the arm type as collinear wrist. Configure the robot parameters according to the DH parameter table. Assign the drive axis to the arm. In the robot axis window, allocate the configured drive axis to each axis of the robot using the drop down menu. Step 4 Implementation of manual control function for the arm. Power on the controller, HMI, and EROB modules. Observe that the indicator lights of each component light up normally. Add an IO module to the project and configure the emergency stop and enable functions on the HMI. 
Right-click on keypad under the eCAD menu and select Add Device. Choose DM570 HD H2 module in the pop-up window and click Add Device. In the newly added I/O module, rename Digital Input 0 and Digital Input 1 as eStop and Enable Switch respectively. Double-click to open PRG Get Safety Signals. Replace the original variables M Stop, Released, and MB Enable Switch pressed with eStop and Enable Switch respectively. Download the project to the controller. Click on CP505A in the project window. Click Scan in the communication settings to view the IP address of the detected controller. Open the network and internet settings on the PC. Right-click on the Ethernet adapter connected to the controller and click Properties. Double-click on Internet Protocol version 4. Select Use the following IP address. Modify the computer's IP address to be in the same network segment as the controller. Click OK. In the Communication Settings window, click on Active to establish communication with the controller. Click the Download icon. In the pop-up window, enter the account password provided by Kiba and click OK. Check the options under Teach Control. Click OK and then click Yes. Wait for the download to complete. To enable the robot, hold the human machine interface in hand. Turn the HMI key to the middle position for automatic operation. Press the Enable button on the HMI. Listen for the sound of the EROV modules releasing the brakes. At this point, the enable light in the top right corner of the HMI should light up, indicating successful communication between the EROV modules and the controller, and enabling is complete. To control the collaborative robot manually, turn the HMI key to the manual mode position. Press the manual enable button on the back of the HMI. The enable indicator light should light up in the top right corner of the HMI. Switch to jog mode. Press the jog button on the HMI to switch to jog mode. Manually operate the arm. Press the plus button for axis A1, and the arm's axis 1 will move in the positive direction. Press the minus button for axis A1, and the arm's axis 1 will move in the negative direction. Press the plus button for axis A3, and the arm's axis 3 will move in the positive direction. Press the minus button for axis A3, and the arm's axis 3 will move in the negative direction. Press the plus button for axis A5, and the arm S axis 5 will move in the positive direction. Press the minus button for axis A5. And the arm's axis 5 will move in the negative direction. Press the plus button for axis A6. And the arm's axis 6 will move in the positive direction. Press the minus button for axis A6. And the arm's axis 6 will move in the negative direction. Step 5. Implementation of arm zeroing and homing function. Add a zero point setting program in Key Studio. Right click on machine. Select add object. Click on program. And name it set zero position. Open the newly created program set zero position. Input the zero point setting instructions into the program. Download the program to the controller. Click Teach Control in the menu bar. Click Target Compare, followed by Compare. Click on Machine, then the Download button. Click Accept, then Yes, and finally Yes again to confirm. The download will be completed. Validate the zero point setting program. Using the HMI manual control function, move the arm to the illustrated position. Turn the HMI key to the automatic mode position. In the HMI program, Select and load the zero point setting program set zero position. Click the enable button, and after the arm is successfully enabled, click the run button. Open the position monitoring interface on the HMI, where you can see that the current position of each axis of the arm is zero degree, indicating that the zero point setting was successful. Open the world coordinate system to view the current coordinates of the arms and effector. Define target position variables in Key Studio. Double click on machine in the project window. Right click in a blank area, then click on new variable. Double click on the variable name to rename it to AP0, and select the variable type as joint position. Similarly, create three more target position points, CP1, CP2, and CP3 using the same method. Based on the coordinates under the world coordinate system we obtained earlier, combined with the coordinates of the arms and effectors motion target position in the world coordinate system, set CP1. Indicated the movement of the end effector of the robotic arm by 300 mm along the positive direction of the x-axis from the current position. Set CP2. Indicated the movement of the end effector of the robotic arm by 500 mm along the positive direction of the y-axis from the current position. Set CP3. Indicated the movement of the end effector of the robotic arm by 400 mm along the positive direction of the Z axis from the current position. Create a return to zero program. Right click on machine. Select add object. Click on program and name it return zero position. Open the return zero position program. Input the command PTP AP0. Download the program to the controller. Click teach control in the menu bar. Click target compare followed by compare. 
Click on machine, then the download button. Click accept, then yes, and finally yes again to confirm. Download complete chat. Switch back to manual control mode. Manually control each axis of the robotic arm. Once the arm deviates from the zero point, run the return zero position program. You will observe the robotic arm returning to the zero point automatically. Step 6. Implementation of linear motion functionality. Create a new program named Runline in machine and input the instructions shown in the image. Run the linear motion program. Open the position monitoring interface on the HMI. Observe the robotic arm performing the following cyclic motion. The robot returns to the zero point. After two seconds, the robot moves 300 mm along the positive direction of the X axis. Upon arrival, it waits for two seconds. The robot returns to the zero point. After two seconds, the robot moves 500 mm along the positive direction of the Y axis. Upon arrival, it waits for two seconds. The robot returns to the zero point. After two seconds, the robot moves 400 mm along the negative direction of the Z axis. Upon arrival, it waits for two seconds, then returns to the zero point. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.